Hi everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back, and to those who are new, thanks for checking out my channel. Today I am going to talk about the top 10 books that I've read in 2021 so far. I will be looking at the books from January to the end of April. Um, I had set my Goodreads reading goal to 80 books this year, and I am currently at 78 or 79 books. So I thought I would take a look at the last four months of the year and talk about the top 10. Then if I continue to read as much as I am now, I can do another top 10 at the end of August in another four months. So we will see if any of these end up making it into the top 10 of the entire year. So I won't be talking too much about these. I won't go into great detail since I talked about them in my monthly wrap ups, but I will leave links to those videos in the description box below. So if you want more details, you can definitely check them out there. So here we go. Coming in at number 10 is Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. And this is a historical fiction novel that takes place in the US, um, some key parts in Alaska and in Russia. This book took me a few attempts to get into it, but once I did, I was hooked and I was so glad that I read it. Meredith and Nina learn that there is much more to the fairy tale that their mother Anya used to tell them as children. And it's not really a fairy tale at all. Number nine is a poetry collection that I talked about when I did 10 Canadian poetry collections for uh, National Poetry Month in April. And that is 77 Fragments of a Familiar Ruin by Thomas King. This is such a great collection. King brings his playful sense of humor and wordplay to these poems that also deal with some difficult topics. Number eight is another Canadian author, The Push by Ashley Audrain. This is a psychological thriller about the expectations of motherhood, mental illness, and family dynamics. When a horrible tragedy happens, Blythe's life is, begins to unravel, and this is a real page turner with a number of twists. Um, I did finish the book wondering about a couple of things, and it's a great debut novel. Number seven is another historical fiction novel. It's the beautifully written story, The Mountain Sing, by Nguyen Phan Quê May. This book is about Vietnam and its history. The story is told from two perspectives, a grandmother um, and her granddaughter, and it centers around the Vietnam War and how it has affected several generations. And it's such an emotional read. Number six is Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood. I was pleasantly surprised at how much I enjoyed this novel. This is probably my favorite of Atwood's novels uh, so far, with the exception of The Handmaid's Tale, which was a reread for me this year, so I didn't include that. Um, I will leave a link to the video where I talk all about this book. Number five is Shuggy Bane by Douglas Stewart. This is a heart-wrenching and emotional read that takes place in Scotland, and I just loved Shuggy Bane and how he attempts to navigate his life with his alcoholic mother and just being different than the other boys. Um, it's definitely a character-driven novel with heavy topics, and I just think the writing is excellent and that the characters are so well developed. Number four is a Canadian classic, Anne of the Island by Lucy Maud Montgomery. This is the third book in the Anne of Green Gables series. And I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it since usually the later in a series I go, the less likely I am to like the books, at least as much as the first one. Um, but with this one, I liked it just as much as the first one, if not more. Um, so in Anne of the Island, Anne goes off to college. We meet her new friends and we just, we watch her grow up, which was fantastic. Number three is another surprising one. And that is the seven, Hus the seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, this book has stuck with me for sure and it deserves all of the hype it's been given. Uh, I love how it was written. I loved the message of it and I loved that I didn't figure it all out. Second is a book that I absolutely fell in love with. This Tender Land by William Kent Kruger. This is another beautifully written novel. Um, 
The story is kind of like a contemporary Huck Finn story. It's narrated by Odie, and Odie and his brother are two young orphans who decide to escape their horrible circumstances with two other friends. It takes place in the summer of 1932, I think, and we get to follow along on their adventures, and I just loved everything about this book. And then coming in at number one, and perhaps the most surprising to me of all, is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, first, I was happy to just accomplish reading this classic, but the fact that I enjoyed it and even loved it was not expected. I loved the characters, I laughed out loud, um, and it made me realize what the fuss with Jane Austen is all about. So this is a book that I would consider doing a reread or maybe listening to on audio again in a few years. So those are my top 10 books of the year so far. Have you read any of these? Um, are any of these your favorites of the year? Please let me know what you have been reading this year and what your favorites have been. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments as always. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.